Hey there, YouTubers. All right, had a, a viewer request to take the i9 10850K, run Cinebench R20 with turbo enabled and then turbo disabled. So, what do we have on the screen upper left? We've got Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility. That's going to uh, let us see package temperature, CPU utilization, max core frequency package TDP alright and then underneath that we've got tax manager to also show us what the uh, CPU frequency is and of course those things don't necessarily line up but uh, providing both of them just so you all can see it and then on the right middle to the right is Cinebench release 20 so in a moment we'll run that let's talk a little bit more about this before we get going so CPU wise i9-10850K, base clock speed 3.60 gigahertz, okay? So what does that mean? When you disable turbo, it should not get any greater than that. When you enable turbo and you're actually doing something, it will see greater speeds than that. In a moment, we'll talk about the different cores. So there's 10 cores, 20 threads, and in case you care, 48 gigs of RAM at 33.33 megahertz. RTX 2060 Super in here and there's my motherboard Eris Gigabyte Eris Z490 Elite AC it's a pretty nice motherboard one of the better ones I've had recently alright let's talk about what else so just so you know power limits are set to unlimited so PL1 PL2 this is PL2 that's PL1 here are your core multipliers okay so Intel has a rule that if you're going to turbo boost, you don't just, you're not able to just turbo boost one core. It's all or nothing. So all of these will boost up, right? And this is the max that they could hit. So first and second core could see a max of 5.2 gigahertz. This guy 5.0. These two 4.9. And then the final five 4.8 gigahertz. So if you were to take this, add these up, multiply by 10 that would give you what the uh, the maximum frequency is that this could hit all right now of course I can adjust these because this is an unlocked processor and that would allow me to uh, push all of these up to uh, we could do 51 52 52 might be a little um, what's the word folks unstable might get a little warm you know there's a lot of other settings that one has to do to make it work I haven't spent the time yet uh, investigating all that but uh, you may you'll have to change your V core you will have to jump over here and adjust your processor cache ratio a lot of a lot of different things right so we're not going to get into that in this video as yours truly is not prepared on this one yet but eventually we will I haven't had this CPU that long all right, so what else? Uh, we talked about the cores. And there's some of the other settings. So everything else is default except for the power limits, okay? Now, let us keep our screen like that. Now, down here, this is what we're going to get. This is what we're going to see here these don't always match up I'm gonna clear this out okay and after that folks we're gonna use throttle stop to turn off turbo boost okay and we'll run it again so let me go ahead and hit this and you will see CPU utilization is gonna shoot up to 100 percent in a moment boom there it goes why it's not saying 100% is another story, but trust me, it's it's getting there. Package temperature is going up, 71 now. This guy, recent max, 4.83. See down here, what we're at, 4.69. And then you see what the wattage is. Now, like I said, power limit set to unlimited. I didn't have that on that would be a little lower and then the score over here is going to be end up lower right 
You will notice in brown that we've already run this one time. Now, boom, 6018. So, ever so slightly better than a 10900F at default setting. So, if you were wondering about buying one of these two and you needed something with great multi core performance, but you weren't going to overclock, you potentially could go with the 10900F and, and save a little bit of money. All right, now we've done that. You saw temperature got up to 73. This, of course, got to 100. This was, of course, at, this is 4.83, 189, core TDP, 182. Let's see if we can see some other stuff, folks. This is the other stuff that you guys should care about. Did we hit thermal throttling? No. Why didn't we? Because I don't have some cheap CPU fan on here, right? We have a Noctua 140 millimeter with two fans, okay, two 140 millimeter fans. Power limit throttling did not hit that, we're current. So what else does this motherboard and the power supply provide us? We have a CPU power connector, uh, eight pin and a four pin. So we can get a little bit more power out of those if necessary, all right? All right, now, there's our score, 6018. Let's go ahead and turn on throttle stop. And we're going to use this button here, disable. I'm going to close that. Then we're going to run it again. So before we do that, though, let's go over here to ensure that it's working. This is less than 3.6 gigahertz, right? So the base clock speed of this processor, 3.6. Over here, you see we are currently less than that. I'm going to clear this out. We want to see new temperatures, not the old temps. We want new ones. Let's go ahead and run this. Now, curious things to watch here. Obviously, there's our temperature starting to climb. Okay, 44. That did hit 100%. This is not going to go above 3.6. And you saw there that the recent max was 83 and 77. So this is probably due to power limits. Otherwise, I believe this would probably be less. But it is still less than uh, the CPU, I believe, is uh, what, 125? Something like that. And then down here, we did not break 3.6 either. So. This takes a little bit longer. Obviously, it's not uh, working as fast, right? And we still have all the same cores, but they're not boosting beyond 3.6. Cool thing, though, is this is still one ridiculously powerful processor. All right, so what do we end up at, folks? Um, 4568 is the one I just got. I ran this earlier, 4529. So you see where this is. It's much higher than a 10600K or 10600KF. Uh, these other processors, you know, most of them are pretty old. Here's another 10th gen. And if we had an i5 10400, it would, it would be more powerful than that, obviously. But yeah, that is, uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you folks. Uh, Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.